What's up everybody, I'm Vortac, and today I wanted to do a quick preview of our new mod pack, or rather, the update we've done to our previous mod pack, which we've had out for a while, called Vogetopia. You can download this pack right now in the description below, and uh, there's a lot of things I want to show you that we've added, a lot of things I can't show you because I'm actually on our sub-server, uh, where we have our Twitch Tier 2 subscribers kind of building out a town and everything, um, using the pack. And it's been a lot of fun, but I was really excited to kind of jump back on YouTube and show you guys uh, some of the stuff I've been working on since not doing a whole lot on YouTube. I'll, I'll get to that a little bit later, though. A brief history for those of you who may not have been around and keeping up with the goings-on here on the channel. Uh, Vogetopia is a mod pack that's a bit lighter than other mod packs you may have played. At the time of recording this, it only has about 139 mods, and a lot of those mods are all in good fun. Uh, one of them in particular is my favorite. It's clay soldiers. You can take these soldiers and they duke it out Last man standing wins We have a lot of stuff we've done with animals. These are mer pigs and for example you can put saddles on them ride them around the ocean and Tons and tons of stuff for builders bibliocraft deco craft rustic and more so we wanted to make a mod pack at first that just kind of took vanilla to the next level and then got a little bit crazy along the way. But uh, I would like to think this is a mod pack that's kind of remotely lag free because of the lack of mods and we tried not to put anything in the pack that was just too taxing for a server with a lot of people on it. And we wanted to make sure that uh, people with even lesser computers could enjoy a Minecraft mod pack. And we also had a lot of people in mind who may not have ever played a mod pack. This pack, as far as I know, have helped, has helped a few people kind of learn modded Minecraft, which I'm pretty proud of. This mod pack has been around for a bit, and I'm going to show you guys maybe a couple of the new things that were added in this 1.6 update I did recently. Um, so one of the things was chickens. I love the chickens, but before, uh, I didn't really have a reason to release the mod pack with them. I thought about it, and... Uh, it just seemed a little overpowered for what the mod pack is, but now that we've added so much to the pack, I mean, I had to do it. And uh, if you don't know what this mod's about, it's kind of like the bees from Forestry, except it's chickens. And you breed them into these uh, in these little chicken breeders. And I'll show you right now. These are just a smart chicken. Um, I don't I don't want to go into a description of every single one, but let's just say you have a, a chicken. Um, you want the best out of the bunch. You breed them, and the goal is to get 10-10-10. Once you have 10, 10, 10, you can stack them up to 16 and they just constantly spit out whatever product that they represent. In this case, this is a coal chicken. So I'm getting tons and tons of coal. Uh, this is a log chicken and I've been slowly building up my arsenal of 16 stacked 10, 10, 10 chickens. Um, and you do that in these little breeders. So as you can see, I've started with the nether quartz chickens and I just got to take the best of the best here, put them in like that and uh, Let's see what we got down here. I use smart chickens to basically get more of the same of one type of chicken. So I only had one soul sand chicken, so I used a smart chicken, and uh, now I have more soul sand chickens, and I can start breeding those into 10, 10, 10. Um, and then we have uh, bone white chickens. They're bone meal chickens. There's a chicken for every single die in the game. So we can actually take these guys out and do this and this. And then I have these chests over here just for me. Uh, there's chickens to save, and these are my backup 10, 10, 10s. Um, and I also like to save some smart chickens just for the purposes of getting more chickens. And then chickens to roast. And this is just a chest full of chickens I cook, and they just give you regular chicken. Um, so that's one of the more simplistic mods in the pack, and you can get a chicken for just about everything. Every resource you ever want can come from chickens if it's like redstone or logs or whatever you still need farms and uh, we do have some fun tools for farming like the sprinkler here in the middle um, this sprinkler is from cyclic the pack uh, the packs had cyclic for a while and uh, you know that's just one of the ways you can farm there is also I've added I'm trying to look at my list here because I've added a lot um, we have extra utilities so we do at maybe util uh, extra utilities really took this pack to the next level in terms of tech. We have vector plates for your, uh, you know, mob farms. We have, let's see. Ooh, my favorite, lightsabers. They legitimately added lightsabers in this. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, let's see what else. What, what have I used? I, I don't know. 
Um, oh, it, this mod has a lot of generators in it, which is kind of cool. It actually kind of uh, made one of my other mods completely obsolete that I didn't take out of the pack called Simple Generators. These generators are a lot better, and there's all these different types. Uh, culinary generator takes food, magmatic takes lava, etc., so on. Um, so you can do a lot with extra utilities. Uh, and this is kind of like the tech update as a result. Um, we also added Direwolf's building gadgets, which has been really cool. Uh, you have to charge these little gadgets, and they help you build, like, and copy-paste. And, uh, you know, I don't really know all the features of it yet because I've hardly played with it. I just saw a preview, and I'm like, that is cool. I need it in the pack. By popular demand, I had to add Tinker's Construct. Uh, I, it was it was requested very heavily when I first released the pack. It seemed to fit, and I've just not been a fan of this mod because it's just in every single pack I play. I wanted something a little bit different for doubling ores, and that's why I got this originally, the Furnace and the Pulvis, and I did a video on this mod. It's really, really cool. Um, very simple recipes for early game ore doubling. The issue with it, though, is it doesn't really interact with the mod I chose to generate the ores, like copper and tin and so forth, because Tinkers doesn't do that anymore. So I had to add a mod that I liked, and I added embers. And so all the copper and tin and aluminum and stuff like that is from embers. And it works with Tinkers just fine, but it does not pulverize um, in the pulvis. So you can't really double those ores. You have to have Tinkers to do that. But still, for an early game ore doubling, you can double gold and iron no problem. Um, I have this chest here. I, I made an IO upgrade for it, and then I have an input on the left for that chest and an output on the right for the furnace. And I have two inputs on here uh, just so you can cook chicken or something. That's what I've been doing with this, and that's why I have a bunch of chicken in here. So, you know, th this mod is still in the game. It's still very useful. Um, it's the first thing I make. I also added cute hamsters because I had to because Mojo. <laughs> I have to I have to give Mojo something. Uh, and at its core, it's still a building pack. So the architect saw bench is still here from Architecture Craft, and uh, you can cut up any kind of block you want into any kind of texture you want, and you can do all kinds of fun stuff. Chisels and bits is still in the pack. Um, so a lot of stuff for builders. And that was another reason why the chickens were so important, because now you can generate so many materials to build with. So folks on the server have been working together to kind of build, like, a town. We started with that. Ghost built this uh, exterior here of the spawn. And we have a waystone in the middle, so if you find, like, another town with a waystone in it, you can easily port between spawn and that town or wherever. Uh, and then if you come down here, I actually built this bottom section. Uh, it, it was hovering right over a ravine, so I decided to use it as part of the display. And then in here, uh, we haven't done anything with this yet, but this is supposed to be a warp room. Um, we have all of these tracks here, and they actually dead end at an ender rail from, uh, or a teleporting rail rather, from extra rails. And extra rails is really cool. It just adds a few rails. This is my favorite one. You right click it and you program what color you want these three to be. That's like kind of the ender chests. It's like a network and it will bring you to the corresponding ender rail on the map that has the same color pattern. So uh, a lot of ways to screw with people if you put the wrong code in, but uh, ideally everyone will have one of these at their base and you can jump in a minecart, you can go to someone's base or um, you know, come from a base to spawn. It was kind of my idea, but honestly it just looks cool. We have uh, RF tools in the pack that's uh, for you know charging building gadgets for example. We use RF tools uh, right back here is um, a, a machine that TJD helped put together that basically keeps mobs from spawning in here. So I was able to do some low light and it looks really nice with these lanterns from Embers. Um, I'll leave it to you guys to, if I mention a mod you've never heard of, to uh, actually go and look it up. There's just way too many things. Oh man, there's a block missing. There's way too many things for me to sit here and like show you <laughs> in depth. Um, what I want to show you too is this armor I'm wearing. Ghost let me borrow it for this video. Um, this is glitch infused armor and I've never seen it before. I've never used it before, but it's from a mod that TJ convinced me to add called deep mob learning. So if you do at deep, it adds not a whole lot, but it's something that you can use kind of later in the game. I wanted this pack to still be very simple, but I've added a few more complex mods for folks who have played modded Minecraft, who, who like kind of exploring new and exciting things. Deep mob learning basically lets you learn about mobs and using the data that they provide, you can do all sorts of cool things like make these crazy mob farms and harvest their resources. And um, in, the, in the spirit of that, 
you can make stuff like glitch infused armor, which I assume just takes on the data of certain mobs. And in this case, I'm flying, which is really freaking cool because we also have extra utilities, which means we have the angel ring. Now, this mod here has been in the pack for a bit. Uh, this is, let me get the name right, Wings, Horns, and Hooves, the ultimate unicorn mod. Um, and these guys are, I think, a little more <laughs> advanced. I haven't seen these before, uh, but our, our friend Bugasu here has been kind of starting to collect these. Um, the one back here I know breathes fire, and uh, I'm not sure what this guy's deal is, but they both fly, and it's just one more way to fly. This is turning out to be a mod pack with a lot of flight in it. Um, but he's he's here just next to spawn. I don't know who's over here. I don't see their uh, their name on the map, which means I haven't haven't uh, pinpointed this one yet. But they they're starting to get their chicken farm going. They got their tinker smelter going. Little workshop here, kind of cool. Little uh, basement down there. Um, I've been marking people's places like from from day one when we opened the server. So I'm just kind of bump. Uh, bopping around right now. Recky's place is over here with a nice big tinker smeltery. It looks like we're using some uh, pipes to automatically take stuff out of the smeltery and uh, manage all that. We have storage drawers, of course. Can't go without that. Um, I know I'm kind of just going around randomly right now, but I wanted to give you guys a good taste of the mod pack rather than um, listing every single mod. Um, if it's a mod pack you want to play, you can download it on the Twitch launcher. Link will be down below. And, uh, you know, you can check it out for yourself. You can see all the crazy mods on it. This is this is Tara's area over here. She's got a real big chicken pen. She's got herself, uh, I guess, just tons of different stuff she's growing right now. Um, oh, that's new. New building down there. That's pretty cool. So, tons of stuff to see. These right here are battle towers. It looks like this one might have been conquered already. But you can go down. There's a bunch of levels, and each one gets harder and harder and harder we've actually set up the battle tower so they kind of do this they don't go high in the sky but they actually go um they start out really easy and as you go lower they get harder oh it does not sound like that's neutralized <laughs> so yeah the battle tower here is uh it, like all of them on the server buried into the ground but on other other uh, mod packs you may see those jut up into the sky i just didn't like the way that looked but uh, yeah, ooh, we got a house all the way out here that I have not seen yet or marked on my map. Um, but the area is claimed. We got a nice big uh, <laughs> unicorn, not unicorn, um, Pegasus or something over here. Dang. Oh, and this one, this might be Diplo's place. This guy lights the ground on fire as he walks. The nightmare pony or whatever you want to call him. Uh, so, so many, uh, so many different types. Look at him. I don't think the fire is dangerous because by now this place should be like burnt to a crisp. So I, I think it's just for show, which is nice. <laughs> it looks a lot worse than it is. So I'm all the way out here at Weems' place. Uh, he's been building a bit on the server and his place looks better and better every time I log in. Um, but he's next to a couple of uh, villages. Now this is the last mod I wanted to showcase uh, before I go into a, a long-winded description of where I've been on YouTube, etc. But uh, this is Toro Quest. Now, this is just a regular Minecraft village. We actually added Mo Villages, so it puts villages in different biomes. So there's even more of these things than you may normally see, but um, Toro Quest takes the villages and it adds guard towers, it adds different NPCs, and uh, it adds a king or a lord uh, who usually sits in this room right here, but Weems kind of scared him off. Uh, basically, that guy will give you quests, and you can earn rep and do the quests. It's been a little bit buggy, but still overall really cool, and uh, it doesn't generate new villages like Millionaire used to. We love Millionaire, but we had to get rid of it. It was just way, way, way too... Uh, it, it caused a lot of lag, and we're trying to make this a very lag-free mod pack, so it, it, it had to go, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> and this Battle Tower spawns monsters, and the guards get all riled up. It's pretty funny. Battle Towers seem to like to spawn in the villages, so... That's been pretty interesting to watch as well. But these guys have their own their own stuff they'll trade you. They actually add more of the Minecraft-looking NPCs as well. And uh, they, they deal in emeralds, and it's it's it feels very vanilla, which I like. This is actually one of their shops here where it looks like it it's not fully built. I think someone might have messed with it. But yeah, Toro Quest is really cool. It also adds Toros, which are bulls that protect cows. So if you see a herd of cows, you might want to look out for a Toro who might be keeping watch. And, of course, there's also a waystone that spawns in villages. So, villages in this pack look a lot different, which is really cool. Um, still regular Minecraft villages, but they've been added to, which I really like. 
Um, so with that, uh, there's still so many more things I want to talk about and show you, but the video will be 10 hours long. I really wanted to take a quick opportunity to jump back on YouTube and tell you guys that uh, I, I've missed making videos a lot. Um, I haven't been able to. I've been doing uh, Twitch live streams as, oft oops, ah, as often as I possibly can on uh, twitch.tv slash Vortech. And we've been uh, we've been playing a lot of Minecraft. We've been playing a lot of Eco. We've been playing a lot of different games. I still play the same ki kind of games, but just I, I do it on Twitch. It's kind of my new home. And uh, if if that's something you didn't know, maybe uh, you just missed it, or maybe you're just not someone who watches the videos on Twitch, which is just no problem. That's totally cool. But uh, yeah, been uh, been doing a lot there. So. This mod pack was released, and uh, we opened up a server for our Tier 2 Twitch subs, but uh, we do have a Patreon. It's still open to patrons, and that's linked down below if that's something you're interested in, but uh, just know overall uh, Twitch is where the content kind of lives these days. But every so often, I try to post something on YouTube. I would like to do more. If I had more time in the day, I would, because I still enjoy editing. I still enjoy making videos. And uh, I know this isn't the, like the most deeply edited video ever, but it was still nice to jump on and, and do something with you guys. With you guys. So, um, if you've only ever watched on YouTube, I hope you'll consider checking out the live streams on Twitch. Uh, I do miss doing it. Uh, I do miss doing these videos though, and I do miss you guys. So, anyway, if none of that's your cup of tea and you just like Minecraft mod packs, again, it's linked down below, or you can get it on the Twitch launcher, like all the other mod packs out there. And, uh, you know, check it out. Tell me what you think. Uh, if you if you notice any problems, you can leave it in the comments there on Curse. And I do my best to kind of check on those. And there's not a lot I can do, unfortunately, as a, uh, as a mod pack developer because I'm not really good with code or anything. A lot of times if something's broken enough, I just have to get rid of it because I don't have the know-how to code the mods to work with all the other mods and some mod pack developers can really go above and beyond but this was just something fun for us to set up and I that even though it was just something fun to do I still want it to work well I still want it to be solid so feel free to leave comments hey I noticed this is kind of broken just so you know and uh, I'll see if there's anything I can do about it maybe contact the mod developer themselves and say hey just so you know this mod doesn't interact with this one and see what happens but thank you guys so much uh, for when I do upload a video if you feel like subscribing please do that would be awesome and uh, otherwise I'll see you guys wherever I see you thanks for watching peace out